G'day, today is the 8th of April 2012. Peter Stevens is my name, and uh, some of you may have seen some of our other videos. Um, what I'd like to show you are uh, just some what are referred to as rattlesnake egg magnets. And the, these are just kids' toys. So you get them and you throw them in the air and catch them, and they make this funny noise. They also come in different sizes. Uh, little ones, big ones, round ones even. And uh, great fun to play with. So you can hear them rattle quite nicely. And the other ones they're just separated slightly and thrown into the air. They, they spring around a fair bit. What they are is, let me show you, is that they have a, a way of coming together. So this would be normally a north and a south. That's in attraction. These particular ones are in the centre. And when you turn at 90 degrees, they actually come apart. So that's the unusual way that these particular magnets align. So they align through the middle. And if I turn one at 90 degrees, it'll push apart from the other. It just doesn't, won't go together. So as soon as you, you, you bring it into that region, regard it'll it'll try to equalize and balance itself which is absolutely fantastic so the science of what we're doing is probably best referred to by dr walter russell or dr walter and his wife leo russell and they they came up with a book called the secrets of life the secret of life and in that they describe electricity magnetism and just some of the fantastic ways that everything has either a positive or negative charge. These are some of the other formats. And there happens to be the periodic tables as per Dr. Walter Russell in 1921. So he came up with this spiral graph that showed all of the elements in the world. Uh, sorry, quite not quite. He did mention some showed where they were, but called them unknown. So he left room for us to find them. So from 1921, 90 years ago, he actually discovered a lot of the elements. And this spiral graph shows where all the inert gases are, shows where each different charge is, whether it's a positive or negative charge. There are four positives and four negatives. 3, 2, 1, 0. If it's a 0, it's an inert gas. And these are like compression lines or octaves. Octaves are the sound of music. He also referred to music as being some of the fields of interest as to why things work. So within this book are several diagrams, a lot of uh, wonderful aspects of cube or body centre cube structures which show the the actual cube formation and just how uh, each charge comes across but you'll notice that it always remains in balance like you heard before with the resonation of the of the disc uh, when they're in vibration they actually finally reach a point of balance so this is what Dr. Walter Russell was showing so this, this particular book was written, I think, in 1945 or 1947, but in, in that vicinity. So these are the cube structures. These are all the crystal structures that he could see and what actually was going on. So talking about crystal structures, so this is magnetic fields and electric induction and the gravity or convective um, how it increases in fields, field strength. 
what we're seeing here is what he referred to as positive and negative and these fields or arcs of angles actually show the South Pole and the North Pole. The North Pole I believe is actually like a, a sphere and it becomes even more and more increasing. So here's the Earth as you normally see it, North Pole uh, facing directly up. But when you get to the North Pole you're in fact going south because the polarity actually changes. So these are the, the types of fields and field strengths of what we're doing. So we're doing atmospheric ionization research. So we're spinning vortices in the air and we're causing rain and you can see some of our stuff on weathercreation.com. So these are how magnetic fields and forces spiral in past each other and or push apart. So if they push apart far enough that'll actually make a tornado. So let me show you some you can see discs here and I've actually got some disc magnets which I'd just like to show you how here are tornadoes for instance these are magnetic cones that are pushed apart far enough and they'll actually leave one within the earth and one in the atmosphere so this is how the, the field can be altered I believe we can spiral the air spiral the, the light of the sun back in and form tornadoes, if you like, or unwind tornadoes, uh, unwind cyclones and hurricanes and typhoons, or if you need one, we can produce one. So it's all a bit of fun. That's The Secret of Light by Dr. Walter Russell. Now, let me show you, as I said, we've got this magnet. So here's just a couple of washers. I just want to show you that the magnet and the washer go together. The washer and the washer, there's no attraction whatsoever. Um, but I can I can pull this away fairly fairly readily. But if I put it together like that, and I attach another washer, the washers are now magnetic, magnetized very difficult to pull it apart. Ah, but let's say I've got some other magnets and I just happen to have a couple here. If I just check that. just want to see if I'm in repelling or or attraction so just to see what these want to do. And they don't want to go together so they really are pushing apart. So if I turn that over that will attract um, and that that's why those two there are together, they're in attraction. And I'll try and just pull these apart. It's very tough. I'm not that tough. Although I did add a couple of wet dicks this morning, they do come apart. Um, and I'll just put that there. Oh. This is a stainless steel washer and a it, it's very lightly attracted to it. Um, but because they're repulsing, they don't go together. So you can push them together, but they immediately just pull apart. So, you know, it's true. Um, similar fields repel, and all the light fields repel. And unlike fields attract. So if I turn this over, uh, they'll come together and uh, that, that's what you normally expect with magnets. Okay, so you, you're all happy with that I hope. So I'll just pull these apart one more time. And we'll, we'll just turn, turn the, don't need to turn the washer over, but I'll just turn the, the repulsion over uh, and I'll I'll just add a different type of washer. No, oh, that's stainless again. Sorry, I'm just looking for my trusty other. Uh, that I'll use. I'll just use this over here and this one. I'll just use a longer shaft just to show you. Um, these magnets are in repulsion 
and that that's pretty normal. So they 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 go apart, and they go apart quite nicely. Uh, the the unusual thing with atmospheric ionisation is that we like to do things slightly different and get them to attract, so that they actually form an form an attraction. But normally, this would be in repulsion straight away. So we've overcome the repelling nature of the magnet. And what we've also done is that we've actually increased the power that they come apart. <laughs> I actually love it when they lie there. So it would in fact go off the end of this rod. The rod's approximately uh, three foot length. Or if you like, nine hundred millimeters or 90 centimeters. So that's its normal repelling nature. The the distance um, we should measure it for you so that you've got uh, comprehension of what we're we're doing there. So that's three and a half inches in the old scar or coming from there. Eight. <laughs> but that should just love filming. Alright, this one, man. Just stop that, please. Hello, son.